Jose Imperial. And this is my sneaker, my story. I did a full sneaker restoration and this is the final product. Just let's have a look how this, this particular pair of sneaker was and what I've done to it to bring it where it is here today. And as you can see, this sneakers are just tearing. So this is what you do when you do when you buy stuff online and they say it's a thrift shop. They bring you something which is not really, really, really in the picture. But as you can see, this sneaker is just in a terrible state. First of all, the shoelaces don't match and uh, it's just ridiculous. But I want to try as much as I can. I've never done this on camera, but I do this on my own to give these stickers a new sense of life, something that you can look at and probably wear. So these are the Metacom 4s. This is an amazing workout shoe. Very, very firm, very, very strong. So let me see what I can do and just clean them. So we'll just start off by taking off the shoelace from this. Uh, I'll need to get new shoelaces for them for it because this is terrible, as you can just see. So uh, I need to get some shoelaces. I have some shoelaces to just give it a good, a good, nice look, something very neat. I can't believe this is just how these people behave nowadays. I don't even need those particular shoelaces. So I'll start off with this one as I move on to the other one. But So I have got two brushes here. So this is a quite hard brush. So this is primarily for the sole. This is a bit softer for, because the, the uppers are quite fragile. They are breaking apart, but well, I'll try and see what I can do just to ensure that uh, it's, uh, it's firm and it's, it's, it's still wearable. So let's begin. That's it, they are done. So, after all this that I've done here, I will do a, wash, a water rinse for them. Then I'll have them in the washing machine. It's a cold wash, not a hot wash, just for 30 minutes. And that should give them a bit of glow. This is for it. I have to just make sure it's clean. And you've seen how I went through cleaning it just to ensure that I take off all the dirt that you can see in this. And as you can see, this pair of sneakers is good to go. This is going to give someone a fresh breath as they go through crossfit. As you can see now, from both sides, this is not what we had initially. This has gone through a proper transformation, looking crisp, looking good, and it's a pair of sneakers you put on your feet. I mean, you don't even need to worry about a thing. So just a brief narrative about this particular pair of sneakers, the Metcon 4. This, is, this was purely designed with the CrossFit training in mind. And as you can 
just look at this particular pair. I don't know if you can tell from the, from the video itself. The upper is very breathable. The, the fabric used here is very, very easy on your feet. So you wouldn't worry about sweating, you wouldn't worry about you know, your feet getting hot and can't breathe as you go about your crossfit training. This was put into my, and this cuts across up to the heel, the heel side, where you see the Metcon branding down there. And also the other thing, as you can also see, the sole. The sole is quite thin, so that it keeps your foot on the ground as you do those heavy weight lifting and you have grip of your feet itself. You don't feel like you're losing balance in the gym. And in that whole training process, it's just supposed to protect your feet. And also safety is very big as far as this pair of sneakers is concerned. So for me, this is a go-to sneaker as far as CrossFit training is concerned. And if you really want to make a difference with your training, and if you want to just get those results, just putting those, that effort, putting that time, and you want the right, uh, you know, the right sneaker on your feet to just ensure that you're doing the best of the best, this will come in handy. I didn't tell you the backstory of this. If you want to get a hold of an original pair of sneakers, most probably you will get it through thrifts, thrift shops. So the guys who put this up, you'll just see the image was very different from what the pair should have actually came. This particular pair of sneakers didn't even have matching laces. The uppers were already broken. It looked like just a pair of sneakers you just toss out and throw it. But because of my love for sneakers, and I know the significance of this particular pair of sneakers in training, I just thought, let me just try and give it a bit of love and give it some life so it can help someone at the gym. Because, you know, at the end of the day, what matters is you have the right pair of sneakers with you on your feet at any one given point when you're doing your exercises. So they they had this image and this image shown this nicely looking pair of sneakers, you know, every online picture is that and all these guys who do, you know, online sales, that's how they basically lie to us. They download videos from and images from, from the net and they say that is the pair of sneakers that they have. And actually went further and asked this person, can you send me an actual picture of that of this particular pair of sneakers? Only to show up and I'm like, what's this? The sneaker was smelly, it was in a really bad state, and you could see in the previous in the previous recordings, I mean so much injustice was done to this particular pair of sneaker. And I said, you know what? Let me just do what I do. Let me show this particular pair of sneaker now. Because clearly. It's just not been shown now at all. There was no proper cleaning to it. It was very, very smelly. I mean, it was breaking down and it just looked terrible. But I looked at the sole and I saw the sole is still intact. I looked at the insole. The insole was still thick. It had not lost even an inch of, 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 of the form that makes the insole to give you that cushioning as you step on the ground. And I looked at it generally and I was like, you know what? I think it deserves to be redone. And, and I'll send images to the person who, who gave this to me, who sold this to me, and tell them, this is how you take care of a pair of sneakers. This is a piece of art. And guys, thank you for the time. But this is MEG, and this is my sneaker, my story.